Thank you, David. And um, uh, as I said, we'll, we'll open it up more to, to questions in a moment. Um, you know, we don't want to forget your questions, but we also want to be able to address them to the group of panelists. Um, so Martha Rosler um, was meant to be here tonight. Um, unfortunately, she had car trouble in New Jersey, from what I understand. Um, so David Birkin, who is her studio manager as well as an artist um, himself, um, will speak on her behalf. She sent us a statement for him to read. Um, David Birkin and I have actually known each other for a long time. Um, he went to Oxford um, University uh, with a number of um, friends and colleagues of mine um, and now lives here in New York. Um, he did a very interesting sky writing project that he may tell you about um, a couple of years ago here in New York um, discussing some undisclosed information um, from the U.S. government um, and the treatment of uh, the treatment of shall we say, um, detainees and other uh, withheld information. Um, and he uh, used to be an actor. Um, I don't know if I should say that. Um, but regardless, I will let David have the floor. I don't know how he wants to approach this. Um, but we're very grateful that Martha has sent a, a statement over to us. Um, and whatever he wants to say is up to him. So... Hi there, very nice to be here. Um, Martha actually has a very serious back injury. The car is only part of it. Um, she would really love to have been here um, and it's very sad not to. Um, I am an artist and a writer. Um, I make work, um, a lot of the work that I do is around um, the military, British and American foreign policy. Um, and I do a lot of collaborative work. Uh, for example, um, I did a collaboration with the courtroom sketch artists at the Guantanamo Tribunals. I did a, um, a collaborative project with the American Civil Liberties Union on um, their attempts to try to get disclosure on the drone program. Um, that was under the Obama administration. Um, that was the skywriting project. Um, and I also worked with, um, with the Iraqi civilian casualty database in, in the UK on trying to find a way of um, imaging um, uh, the, w what is otherwise a series of statistics, trying to find some kind of visual vocabulary for this, for this blank, this absence in the photographic record. Um, Martha, I think most of you know her work. She's an artist, activist, um, political and cultural theorist. She's been through the wars since Vietnam. She makes work around the surveillance state around feminism, displacement, um, anti-gentrification, um, and she's been working tirelessly for many years, and she knows a thing or two about where we are now. Um, it was a great privilege and some comfort um, having her the day after the election um, to talk to, because for a lot of people of my generation, this is, it's not the first time, you know, we've seen it before with, you know, the post 9-11 landscape and for those who are a little bit older with the first, um, the first Gulf War. But in, in a lot of respects, it was uncharted, it is still uncharted territory. Um, and to have somebody like Martha to talk to um, was a source of great inspiration and encouragement. So as I said, she would, like, she would have liked very much to have been here, um, but she's given me the statement to read on her behalf. Here's what confronts us. A racist, sexist, authoritarian, liar, cheat, womanizer, puppet, popinjay, proud prince of the 1% and his fellow rich parasites and crony capitalists. Petty panderer to the fearful, the desperate, and the delusional. Scapegoating the powerless and enacting toxic masculinism, he is badgered, bullied, and belittled, deflecting attention from serious attacks on policy. Governance is handed over to reactionary ideologues, militarists, millionaires, and has-beens, overwhelmingly white and male, those waiting in the wings to resume their rapacious war against the commons and the very idea of civil society. They want to seize our cities, dispossess us, and keep poor people, and keep poor people of color demonized, criminalized, and locked up. They've spent decades practicing the seizure of public goods and the destruction of even the idea of community. They've built grassroots organizations on the basis of ruralism, resentment, racism, and rage. 
They've bought and paid for academics and set up think tanks and secretive institutes to prepare reactionary legislative agendas, voter suppression tactics, racist mythologies, anti-woman and anti-LGBTQI rules, and science denialism. As the assault on policy has begun, we see the fruits of those years of plotting behind the closed doors of front groups and groups such as the ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council, in which state legislators and corporate lobbyists meet in secret to prepare model bills to send around to state legislatures with the intention of upending democratic decision making and replacing it with policies that benefit corporations and their public shills, often at the taxpayer's expense. In the barely six weeks of upending the rules of law and government, in their attacks on the foundations of liberal democracy and denying and demonizing much that we hold dear, they are tearing at our inclusive, multitudinous, diverse populace and pitting class against class in order to magnify the hold of the rich on the wealth generated from below. Meanwhile, the chaos campaign continues, unabated, of multiple assaults on many fronts and of bizarre lies, insults, and disinformation, which not only distract the attention of the insulated, the assaulted, and the media, they violate all norms of civility and reason, making them destabilizing, as disinformation is designed to do, and difficult to push back against publicly. And yet, this Death Star state and its scandalous, chaotic figurehead need to be broadly repudiated. Our people are in the streets denouncing the racism, sexism, and double-barreled anti-Semitism, targeting both Muslims and Jews, inflated by Trump and his vile, flamboyant bully boys. So far, so good. The marches, protests, and demonstrations are powerful and absolutely necessary. But we need an organized movement to continue agitating, not just as resistance, but to demand lasting political change. A movement needs dreams and strategies as well as action and reason. A movement needs a horizon. Let me speak up for socialism and democracy. Anti-racist and with justice, access and ownership for all. Occupy and its sister movements showed us how technology allows us to construct communicative networks, but also that people's struggles are grounded in face-to-face -face communities that we form and they are finally based in seizing territory, in the real world, in our minds, in our conversations, in our commitments, and in those ethereal spaces online. Here is a crucial step. Let's join up with activists, grassroots, and union efforts to organize the unorganized and raise ourselves up together. If you are not a person of color, stand with people of color or stand down. Grassroots activism is a slow and painstaking process, but it must and will be done by us and by people like us. Keith Ellison has said, I'm going to tell you something about politicians. They see the light when they feel the heat. Making them feel the heat means putting our feet in the streets and showing up, showing up, showing up. Let's exercise the art of showing up. Make art, make poetry, make music, make loud noises, have robust encounters, meetings, parties, dinners, and ruckuses. Let's go parading and running through the streets and occupy the commons over and over and over with street pageants, panoplies of dancing, singing, and chanting, snappy slogans, beautiful banners, bat signals, and light brigades, disruptions of traffic and disruptions of the powerful alongside readings and solidarity events, videos, performances, and plays. We've got this. We know how to do it. Intransigence is the key. Never normalize the nightmare. Say no to domination and destruction. Say yes to resistance and art. Today, at least, this space, this public sphere of dissent, denunciation, and refusal is ours. Thank you very much.